everyone, it's Kathy Zilski for Simon Says Stamp, and welcome back to another installment of EZ with me, CZ. Today we're going to create a very beautiful and simple winter scene using our cardstock color as the kickstart for the whole project. Let's take a look at the products I'm using today. I'm going to be using this Simon Says Stamp Little Evergreen Trees die, which is so wonderful for making a winter card project. I'm also going to be using a little surf ink from the Positively Saturated collection. I've got a piece of surf blue cardstock, a little bit of Nina Solar White Classic Crest, and then my greeting is going to come from this clean line everyday set that I designed for Simon. So let's get started with some ink blending. What I'm going to do is just use my ink pad color. This is surf, I'll just load this up to bump up and create a blend on this card. So I'm just gonna blend this color in from one side. And let my cardstock do more of the work. I've only recently started trying this and it's such a great way to take an ink color that you might have and a cardstock and just create something that looks like you spent time blending the whole thing. And it's very quick. So all we're doing is adding depth so we can create a sky scene for our snow. And the ink will soften and really just, it melts into this cardstock. And then you can make it a little darker at the top. to give that emphasis on the sky. Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to die cut our trees. Just placing this and I'm gonna put this at a little bit of an angle here so that I can cut my trees out from this panel of Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound weight. I'm gonna pop this here and I will run this through my die cut machine. lift this up and I'm going to go ahead and just poke out this design here. Let me grab my little Gina K pick and we'll just work all of this out so that we are left with just the panel and the trees. Now we'll just poke out the rest of these little innards. All right, now look at that beautiful snowy bank of trees. I love it. All right, let's move on. I've got out my little Tim Holtz splat box because I want to add a little acrylic ink to create snow for my sky. This is the Amsterdam acrylic ink and the color is titanium white. It's perfect for snow. And all I do is just put a little bit onto a block like that. And then I will spray a little water using uh, my distress sprayer. Just get the brush a little damp. And then we just pick it up like that. And you can tap on snow. I love how that looks. It's so pretty. And it's pretty easy. And even if you get big blobbies and sometimes I just tap like this, it's okay, right? Because it's, you know, it's snow. It's supposed to look a little blobby. So we are going to just let that mostly focused up here because that's the part that we're going to see more. Just keep tapping until you get the snow scene you like and we'll let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to stamp my greeting on, I think I'm just going to use this leftover because I do want to pop it up but I kind of just want to have a simple miss you card for winter. So this is what I'm going to stamp and I'm going to do it on this leftover cardstock. Just take the greeting out 
I think there's plenty of room. Let's go right side up. Yep, lots of room. So always look for ways that you can repurpose whatever your leftovers are. And for me, this is going to work just great. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to prep the area with anti-static powder just so that my embossing powder sticks to where it should be. Close that up. And I'll get my Versamark pad. Let's get this out of the way. And well, actually, let's go this way. I don't know, sometimes I flip it. There we go. So we'll just ink this up. I don't want to stamp it more than once because it's such a delicate topography. And we'll bring it down. And I will just press. And that should be just fine. All right. Now, I will add my powder here. Actually, let me wipe this off real quick with my little chamois and that I keep in my little salt cellar. And we'll put that away later. I'm going to sprinkle on some Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Silver. I think the silver would be very nice with this cool winter tone. So let's get that on there like that. Gonna have to brush away a little, and that's okay. I must, I was handling that paper quite a bit, so you don't think your hands are oily until you realize, wait a minute, my hands are oily. I'm going to wipe the powder up with the Swiffer cloth, but I also wipe on my little folded piece of paper just because I don't want to mix powders for future jobs that I'm working on. You can see there's a little powder stuck in and around, and so I just use little angled shader brushes, which are wonderful for getting in and around. If you have any powder that sticks where you don't want it, that looks pretty good. All right. That looks so nice. Oh, just elegant, and look at that beautiful shine. I will get the coordinated die, and we will cut this out. I have this taped into place, and this actually cuts the words out separately, which is kind of cool. So we'll go cut that. My tape was in the way. So there's my miss, and there's my cuke. So you can... You can change them, you can stack them, but it's very elegant and very simple. All right, moving on. I am going to add adhesive to this die cut using some of my Simon Says Stamp micro dot adhesive sheets. I love having easy access. Which side is sticky? Okay, always gotta remember. There we go. And all I'm gonna do here is peel back the side of one of these sheets. And I'm gonna pop this over here like that, and then just run my hands over here with the trees and here to add the adhesive. And sometimes once I've used a sheet that has something this large, I will cut because I don't want to have a portion of my sheet that just doesn't have enough dots on it, if that makes sense. So I will cut this away. I will tuck this back in. Sometimes I'll use my Teflon bone folder just to really burnish. All right, I'm going to bring in my score buddy, which I love to do this, and that is I use the corner. You can do this with your Misty tool or anything that has an edge on both sides. And now I will peel this off. There is adhesive on the back, and all I have to do is line the die up in the corner at the bottom, press it to the side. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And now I have my beautiful winter scene. All right, I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. So let me grab a die for that. You can also do this very quickly with a paper trimmer, but I sometimes really love the look of the die cut edge, and I want to make sure here that I have enough room for my greeting. 
which I, you know, I'm going to be popping that up and that's going to be just fine. But here I can sort of crop and get it exactly how I want it to look. So let's get that lined up here. We're going to cut that tree right about here. Okay. I think that looks nice. I'll tape this into place and I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. Now I have a beautifully trimmed out panel. It has that nice sort of finished edge and this looks wonderful. So let's build our card. I'm going to make a US A2 card base and this is eight and a half by five and a half. So we'll score at the halfway mark. This is four and a quarter. Let's try to stay in the grooves. There you go. If you ever go out of the grooves like I just did, just make sure that becomes the back of your card. All right. So pop this over here. Just give this a nice press with my bone folder. I like to tape my card bases closed because this is a very heavy card stock and it tends to want to stay open, which is great for displaying cards, but when I'm placing something down, it's kind of hard to see. So let's zoom in here. But I will show you this, if you ever work on a slick surface, you can use a piece of Tim Holtz grip mat and that actually will hold, hold a piece that you're working on in place. And I kind of like doing that because now I don't have to worry about my paper sliding around. So let's go ahead and mount this onto the note card. This is just some foam tape from Ulta New. And it's gonna have this beautiful framing margin space and I love I love that look so let's just pop you down like that and then all I'm going to do here is just add the miss you to the center of this card isn't that pretty all right let's get our tweezers and our liquid glue and I just put some Simon Says Stamp foam squares the thinner foam squares here on the back just for a little bit of dimension. Okay. And here's what I'm gonna do. This is kind of, kind of a good little hack. I'm gonna put a little liquid glue on the foam squares, right? I do this a lot when I'm creating with foam because it sticks really hard to where you put it, which is great. But I, I know the U is about where I want it to be, so I'm gonna bring in my little T-square, my little Simon T-square here. I'm gonna slide that out just a little, try not to squish it. And that way I can at least get the miss you in place lined up like that, get you out of the way. Tilt it because we have the wiggle room and then just make sure that's straight. Cause once I know that one's straight, that looks good. Then it will be much easier to place this, which is harder to do with a ruler because the letter Y has what's called a decenter which is the parts of the letter that poke down for that little bit of wiggle room. And just place that down right there. And that is my finished card. I think that's really simple and really fun. I don't think it needs anything else. This, again, I'll get that out of the way. It's okay to have a really simple tone on tone. And here you can see how that darker color at the sky makes a really subtle blend. So I hope you try this out. Take your favorite color of lighter tone cardstock, take a coordinating darker ink and get to blending. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. We'd love to have you become a subscriber to the Simon Says Stamp channel, so be sure to subscribe, and we will see you back here with another video soon. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.